hey guys it's Trey back again with another video and in the last video what we did is we set up our ticket table and we also had a couple of get in points where we can get tickets from our ticket table in this video we're gonna go ahead and continue on with this and we're going to set up our uh, the rest of our crud uh, actions so basically we need to be able to insert update and delete so let's go ahead and continue on with this so let's do an endpoint for inserting a ticket all right so I'm gonna do this up here at the top I'm gonna say app dot post and then we're gonna say slash ticket and then we're going to need to get our request and our response here in this callback. All right. And now the first thing we want to do is actually get our ticket from the request. So when you send this post request, we're going to need to get the ticket from the body. So the way we're going to do this is we're going to say const ticket equals request dot body. So this will get the ticket from the body of our request. Once we get that, we need to insert this ticket. So we're going to say pool dot query and then we're going to say insert into ticket and then we're going to want to insert a summary. We want to insert a priority. We want to insert a status and that's it. So now we're going to say values and then we're going to set this up so we have our three values here to match these three values here and then we need to go ahead and add in our actual values in this array so this is the next argument we're going to say ticket dot summary ticket dot what are we looking for priority and ticket dot status all right and remember those timestamps are automatically updated okay so we're going to get the callback for the actual query so we're going to need to have this error and the result let me go ahead and try to make this a little bit easier to see okay so we have our error and our result i'm going to just go ahead and copy over the rest of this code for right now all right so the error information the error is pretty much the same so we just go through here it's error log it send it same thing all right but the difference here is we're going to change up the way this result is because when we do an insert we're not actually getting that object back what we will get from the result is the id so what we're going to do is we're going to return the object that we just inserted if there is no error with the id of the object that was just Insert. So basically, as you see, when we're putting it in here, we don't specify the ID because the ID is auto increment. So when we insert it, the ID will be generated. And when it's generated, we want to return that to the user so they know what the ID of the object is. So we're going to uh, create an object here. We're going to say ID and then we'll say result dot insert ID. So that'll get the ID and then we'll just return the rest of the ticket information as well so we can do that in shorthand by just saying dot 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 ticket and that would just include everything that's in this ticket so that way when the user inserts the ticket they can get back the uh, reference to the ticket in the database as well as all the ticket values that they just inserted alright so that will handle our post the next thing we need to work on is our update so if we go under here, so we can say app dot put, and then inside of here we're going to do slash ticket, all right, and then we also need our request and response in this callback. So now we have that. Let's go ahead and create this one. So um, once again, when we do a put, we're going to have our request. All right. So once we have this, we want to go ahead and get the updated ticket from this request so what we're going to do is we're going to say const ticket equals 
request.body. So the same way that we did before. So we get the ticket from the body. And then we're going to do our update statement. So we're going to need to do pool query. And then we're going to say update update ticket. And we'll say set. And we're going to put this question mark here. So once we set that, we can go ahead and say where ID equals and we're going to put another question mark. So here, this is where we're going to just stick the entire ticket. And then we'll say ticket dot ID. All right. So here is going to say set this and this, this is the ticket. So basically what the library is going to do is it's going to take each value from this ticket and only update those values that are specified in this ticket. OK. So and then we'll set the uh, we'll get the ID from the ticket. All right. And then from there, we need to go ahead and get our result. So we'll do error result. So this is what is in our callback. And then we'll do the same thing here. Uh, let's do this. Pretty much the same as this one. just return the ticket itself all right so if nothing goes wrong we'll just return the ticket because this ticket has all the updated values in it all right so we should be good to go um, yeah we should be good to go here so that will update our ticket for us and the last thing we need to do is go ahead and do a delete so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up here to where is it? Well, it's actually down here. I'm going to copy this uh, get with the ticket ID. And then we're going to use that for our delete. So we're going to instead of doing app dot get, we're going to say app dot delete. And then it'll be ticket and ID. We uh, get the ID. We just need to change this statement here so we're going to say delete from ticket where ID equals and then we pass in the ID here and we go through the error if there's an error it will do it and then um, <clears throat> instead of sending a result we're just going to send a success all right so if we delete we'll send success and that's pretty much it for that one so now we have full crud uh, full crud capability we can um, create a new ticket with post we can update this ticket with this put request we can delete the ticket with a delete request and we can get all of the tickets with this request or we can um, get one specific ticket with this request so that should give us all crud functionality and uh, we can go ahead and test this out I'm going to test this out with um, Postman. So let's go ahead and uh, run this. So I'm going to say node server.js. All right, start it up. No issues. Um, let me go ahead and open up Postman. All right, got Postman opened up now. So um, what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to do a post first. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here. I'm going to add a request. I'm going to change this to create a ticket. All right. And then we're going to change this to post. And then we're going to want to post to HTTP localhost. And then we're going port 3000. And we need to do ticket. All right. And then from here, we can go to the body tab. We're going to go to raw. I'm going to change this to JSON. And then we can go ahead and create our request. So for a ticket, we need a summary. And I'm going to say my computer froze. We need a priority. And I'm going to add this as low. And then status will set to 
created. All right. So now that we have that, we can go ahead and send this request. We should be able to get something. Okay, we have an issue. Let's go take a look in our policy. Cannot read properties of undefined. It's a summary. Oh, I think I know what the issue is here. When we created our express, we never did say that we wanted to use JSON. So we're going to uh, up here at the top underneath where we declared our pool. We're going to say app dot use and then we'll say express dot JSON. That might fix the issue. Hopefully it does. Let's see. So we're going to go back to Postman, send the request again. All right, there we go. So now we see that we've inserted this into our table. So we now have an ID of one for this. It says my computer froze, product is low, and the status is created. So I'm going to go um, back up here to this request. Um, it's, it's my get all tickets request. So let's try to do a get all tickets. So it's going to be HTTP localhost 3000 slash all. And we hit send. As we can see down here, we get the tick. So we have a the ID, the summary, priority, created date, uh, updated date, status. Everything's here that we expected. Is this correct? It is correct. That it that was the time. Well, I guess this is in UTC. So, yeah. But the date's correct. Um, yeah. So we know we get that. So let's try to do the same thing but instead of getting all of the tickets let's just get that one ticket so we're gonna say ticket slash one and we hit send same thing comes back which is good that means we are getting our ticket so if we put two we should get an error I think nope we just get nothing back because two doesn't exist alright so that sounds good now um, let me change this back to all okay so now let's uh do another request and we're going to update our ticket so we'll say put and then it's going to be HTTP localhost 3000 slash ticket okay now we need to go to body raw once again JSON set it up so let's go ahead and change the status so we're going to say status and let's say let's just say resolved all right so this is us trying to change the status oh we have to set the id as well of the ticket we want to change so i'll say id and then let's just say uh one all right let's try to see if this works all right it looks like it worked let's go back to our get all tickets and run that Right. and as we can see the status did update it says resolved we might need to update the uh, what's actually returned from here and actually return the actual ticket instead but as of right now that'll work so we'll call this update a ticket all right and the last thing we need to try out is the delete function so let's go ahead and create another request I'll call it delete a ticket let's go down here to delete once again HTTP localhost 1000 ticket and then we're doing ticket one so let's send alright says success that means when we do get all tickets we shouldn't get anything back alright everything is working so this is pretty much it for this tutorial. Um, we see that we got everything working. We're pulling from our ticket table. We are able to create from our ticket table and everything's working fine. So this is an updated version of our database and Express and Node.js project so far. In the next tutorial, I guess we can go ahead and tack on a front end to this and actually, you know, create you know, create a little application out of it. So I guess we'll have a little bit of fun in the next tutorial.
thanks for watching like and subscribe to the channel and all that jazz and i will see you guys in the next